PSU Banks has changed. PSU Banks are a good value play at this point of time. The success of Canara Banks QIP and the numbers which have come through over the last quarter from a lot of PSU Banks does suggest that maybe the worst is over for PSU Banks. They were pinned down because of NPAs, which were unknown as far as the pandemic was concerned when the moratorium was on. Gradually, confidence is building up and the NPAs will not be a once normalcy comes back into the economy, credit growth will also come back into the PSU banks. Post-COVID-19 and ILNFS crisis, the entire banking and NBFC industry is slightly transformed. Given that a lot of weak players have exited, competition from NBFCs at the smaller and mid-sized ones has come down, and post-consolidation, most of the PSU banks are in a reasonably strong financial position. I think the likes of Canara Bank or SBI or some of the larger PSU banks will be able to at least maintain their market share, grow their credit book, and earn a decent amount of fee income as well, which has been lagging for the PSU banks per se. The most interesting part about PSU banks is that their valuations are extremely attractive at or below book value, and at least the next 6 to 12 months looks very positive for PSU banks. The PSU banks may even be outperforming the private sector banks on a relative basis. So one can get into PSU banks with a one-year outlook, but one should keep in mind that these can never be part of the core holding, and one needs to monitor them quite closely. Six to 12 months down the line, they may suddenly lose steam, and one has to be a bit careful about that. But for the time being, there is scope for earnings to move up, and the PEs and price to book to expand, as well as in PSU banks. So I am positive on that sector as a whole. Normally, we are quite negative, but it is an interesting situation at this point of time. Then we have the Bank of Baroda, another heavyweight in the Indian banking sector. Although not as widespread as the State Bank of India, the Bank of Baroda has carved its niche through customer-friendly policies and innovative banking solutions. It has been a trailblazer in digital banking, offering a wide array of online services long before it became the norm. Next up is Punjab National Bank, a bank that has weathered many storms but remains a favorite among customers for its friendly service and enduring reliability. Despite some well-publicized challenges, Punjab National Bank has shown resilience, bouncing back with renewed vigor and focus on customer satisfaction. Not to forget, Canara Bank, a bank known for its commitment to rural and agricultural banking. It has played an instrumental role in financial inclusion, reaching out to the farthest corners of the country with its services. Canara Bank's dedication to empowering the rural economy sets it apart from its peers. And finally, we have Bank of India, a bank with a global outlook, its presence across multiple countries reflects its ambition to be a global player. While it offers similar services as its peers, Bank of India's international footprint is a distinctive feature. So what sets these banks apart? It's their approach to banking, their customer-centric policies, their geographical reach, and their specific areas of focus. Each bank, while operating under the same regulatory framework, brings something unique to the table, catering to different sections of society and the economy. To summarize, while all public sector banks in India share a common goal of serving the public and contributing to the economy, they are far from being identical. Each bank has its unique strengths and areas of focus. The State Bank of India provides unmatched accessibility. The Bank of Baroda leads in digital banking. Punjab National Bank is known for its customer service. Canara Bank is a champion of rural banking, and Bank of India has a global presence. Understanding these nuances can help retail investors make informed decisions. It's not just about choosing a bank, it's about choosing a partner that aligns with your financial goals and values. So, the next time you think about Indian public sector banks, remember, they are as diverse as the country they serve. This video is for education purposes only. Please consult your financial advisor before taking any buy or sell decisions.